terrible news, everybody. So I don't know if you've seen it or if you remember, but I posted a video a little while ago about bugs. Oh, come on. It's just a bug. Without making it seem like I'm a wimpy wimp. It's not gonna bite you. Now I don't like them. And how I don't want nothing to do with them and how if there's one in the house or something and you can get it then I am happy for you that you're not afraid of bugs. But me, on the other hand, <laughs> I don't like them. I really don't. Um, I had a flashback memory on why I don't like bugs. Because I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, I used to like bugs. I remember collecting worms and and at school, I would take like the little beetle shells and put them on my fingernails because they were all iridescent and pretty. But then I remembered. The event. That scarred me to the point that I don't have anything to do with bugs ever again for the rest of my life. One day I was outside. I was just having the time of my life just doing me. Out in nature, just having fun. And I looked down and I saw a little worm and I was like, hey, little guy. started trying to get away from me and then he started trying to go underground and I'm like no don't go you can't leave me I try and grab him to keep him from going underground and then I'm trying to pull him out of the little hole and then what happens you guessed it he rips in half and then I'm holding the dismembered other half of the body in my hand and I'm like <laughs> Ever since then, I can't have anything to do with little creatures like that. No, no. I will not be held responsible for if my giant stature rips apart their fragile anatomy. Uh-uh. No, no, no. My friend was ripped in half because I didn't want to say goodbye. And now I can't have anything to do with bugs ever again. I don't want to kill anymore. I don't want to kill anymore.